All right, YouTube friends, I'm back. All the basil has been peeled off the leaves. I've got quite a bit here. I probably will not use all that basil. All the stalks. I forgot that I took some mint and some spearmint out of the garden. And look what I found at the bottom of my pot. Oh my goodness. Who put all those habanero peppers in there? In these chilies. You know, cayenne chilies. Who put the cayenne chili in there? And who put these Thai dragons in there? Who put Thai dragons in my little pot? Who did that? How dare you? How dare you do that? Look at these beautiful habaneros that someone put in my pot. Have they come from my garden? Oh my goodness. This one's a little rotten, so I'm going to have to cut off the rotten part and eat it. I don't know how it got rotten. Maybe just throw it out. Um, anyway, these, as I have said in the past, these Thai dragons, which are very small as compared to my thumb, pack a lot of punch, and they're very good flavor. That's why they, they're used in Asian cooking, because they pack so much heat, and they pack so much flavor. Habaneros, beautiful heat. Not such good flavor. They're kind of bitter tasting. Okay. And this is regular cayenne. Pretty good heat. Pretty good flavor. Lots of medicinal uses. And of course there's a little rotten area there. So I'll have to peel that off. Anyway. Um, I Someone did a dastardly deed and put some hot peppers in my pot. So now I'm going to have to eat it. Uh, how dare they. Okay, I'm going to show you something here. This is the bag of peppers that I picked yesterday. As you can see, they're habaneros, Thai dragons, and chilies. This is a ghost pepper. The first ghost pepper I had in my garden. And as you can see, I've been eating it. <laughs> I didn't do a video of it. It is outrageously hot, and I'll do a video today of the ghost pepper. So, I'll put you back on pause, and I'll make some, I'm going to cut some garlic up now. Okay, as you can see, the next ingredient is organic garlic. Do not buy that Chinese junk. Make sure it is 100% organic. Do not buy Chinese garlic. That's the stuff that is available in most supermarkets. Definitely get the organic kind. Anyway, you have to... Peel all the nature's peel the wrappings off. Okay, some of these are already partially peeled when you separate them all like this. But uh, the idea is that you take all this wrapping off, wrapping paper. <laughs> Funny, uh, you know, you put wrapping paper on presents, right? Well, nature puts wrapping paper on our food. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to. Take this handy dandy knife here and I'm going to show you how to take the wrapping paper off of this garlic right here. Okay, first thing you do, I'm going to put this knife on top of that and I'm going to crush it with my hand. Listen to what I do, listen. Okay, you crush, you put the knife on top and you crush down and look what happens nature's wrapping paper comes right off now you gotta do is throw it away so give me a minute i'm gonna put this on pause and i'm gonna tear all this garlic 